day and welcome back to Stitched Up Weekender. I think this is episode six, six or seven, I'm not quite sure. So it's Saturday morning and, my, well, it is just still morning actually, and Martin's just gone to work. He's on a late shift today. And Bronch is going home today. She's been home for the week. I'm really sad that she's going home. We've had a really, really lovely week. We haven't filmed anything all week, which is why I thought, because I'm now off for today, tomorrow, and Monday as well, I thought I would do a weekend vlog. And you would get the opportunity just to see Bronte before she goes back. I'm taking her to the train station this afternoon. And yeah, I'm quite sad, but she's back at work tomorrow, so she needs to go home, bless her sad face um but we have had a really really lovely week and it's just been so nice the weather's not been fantastic but it's getting better we've got lovely sunshine today it's actually getting really really warm i haven't been for a run this morning and um yeah i really should have gone but it just got too warm too quick and i cannot run in the heat it just floors me totally so I've not actually run since Tuesday which is always the same when Bronte's home because we just have too much fun so um yeah so that's not good is it especially because we had a pizza party the other night and yeah I bought a pizza oven I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my last vlog actually that not long after we moved and bought this house we've been here 13 years now uh, Martin was going to build a outside pizza oven for me and it never got finished. It got half built and never got finished and he's been meaning to finish it for years, never got around to it, things get in the way and I got fed up so I bought myself one and I bought myself an uni, I'll put a little picture of it here and we, it actually came about two weeks ago but the weather has just been dreadful and it's just not been nice enough to get outside and fire it up and have a go and it was actually Thursday evening it was a lovely evening I was really hoping while Bronte was here that we would get the opportunity to have wood-fired pizza homemade and we did Thursday evening was really lovely and sunny so we had pizza homemade pizza outside in the uni and oh my word it's just amazing I'm going to put a picture here of one of the pizzas I made um they cook in literally a minute they're so quick and it just makes a change from a barbecue it's really nice a homemade pizza you can obviously make it quite healthy um and um yeah it was really really lovely so we had a really lovely evening thursday evening on our new patio dancing to music drinking prosecco and moscato and eating homemade wood-fired pizza so it was lovely so all in all it's been a fantastic week she went to meadow hall yesterday with a brother because her and her brother, like all siblings, fight like cat and dog at times, but they actually went off to Meadow Hall together yesterday on the train. And uh, she treated all of us to all sorts of lovely things, which um, I'll probably show you a couple of things later. So that was really, really kind of her. She's been a, she's been a dream actually, while she's been here this week. She's done loads of housework for me, ironing, cleaning up, um, yeah it's just been it's been lovely it's been so lovely um yeah so that's good so she's just upstairs getting ready actually and i am going to do some sewing today i thought i would just take you outside we're going to sit outside in the garden because it's just so beautiful and um i'm going to show you the fabric came that i was telling you about last time i think i mentioned some flamingo fabric and um i'm going to show oops probably gonna, gonna get a bit bleached now but I thought I would show you the fabric that I've got out right so I'm in the garden excuse the noise of the neighbors and excuse the washing on the washing line as well I thought I would show you um, the fabric that came so I saw this fabric on stitch fabrics last week which is a beautiful flamingo fabric and you know how much I love flamingos but a lot of flamingo themed fabrics I don't actually like but this one is a border print and as soon as I saw it I just fell in love um, it's gorgeous let me show you it the right way up so this is it here it's really lightweight cotton um, like a cotton lawn and it has this border print on it as well I've got five meters of it because the plan is to make the Vogue 8577 but I'm a little bit worried because I didn't realize 
that it was like a panel print so if you can see the border runs every so often I thought it was like a border that went along the selvage and it doesn't so I'm a little bit worried that because of all the pattern placement I'm going to have to think about with this that I'm not going to have enough of it and there isn't any left now so we'll see if I can't get that dress out of it then I will make something else definitely and then Sean's been putting up a few videos the last few days I think since she's got finally got a sewing room sorted she is sewing prolifically again which is lovely it's lovely to see her sewing again and she made the Butterick B5895 the other day this pattern and I've had this pattern in my stash for ages at least four years I think and never got round to it and seeing her make hers I thought yeah this is going to be just perfect for summer isn't it and um, I know I think she said she added on nearly two inches length to this body so I'm definitely going to have to think about that myself that's Piper barking somewhere um, and I am going to have a go at it in this lovely red linen that I've got in my stash um, I've had this I think I got this from Abacan a couple of years ago. It's beautiful, it's really lovely. I've got loads of it actually. I um, can't remember what I bought it for originally, but it's 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 really, really pretty. And I think that will look quite cool in that. So I'm hoping to have a go at that this weekend. I'm not gonna do the 8577 this weekend um, because I just need to think about that. I, well, I've got to trace the pattern again first anyway, because I did trace it previously and it was, it's going to be too big for me now so I need to retrace that pattern and then the other pattern that I am going to make is the well the first one that I'm going to do this weekend is the Murray jumpsuit by Papercut Patterns I'll put a picture of that here um, I really love that pattern and I've just bought it I'm really cross with myself because Papercut Patterns did have a discount about a month or so ago I think it might have been at the beginning of May or over Easter and I didn't get this jumpsuit then. I was thinking about it and I didn't get it and I really wish I had. So anyway, I've bought it now. I got it yesterday and I've got this really lovely olive green um, Essex dyed linen that I just got from eBay. I think it was £12 a metre. I'll leave the link down below. This was the colour that I wanted and trying to find this colour was, has been quite difficult. But this is a linen cotton mix. So it's about a 50-50 and it's really nice actually so it hopefully won't crease as much as 100% linen um, they did have this in some other colours as well I'm sorry if the light's not great here it's because I'm in the shade of the of the parasol but hopefully you can get the idea but I've got three metres of this I think and I'm going to make the Miri this weekend and I think I might film it as a bit of a tutorial or a bit of a sew along as well but we'll see, we'll see how we get on with that because I've not made it before Still got to print that pattern out and stick it all together um and yeah i still have to finish my all your shirt i got that made last weekend i don't know if i've shown you it I did put a picture on instagram but i will show you it at some point over the weekend it just needs buttons and buttonholes i bought some buttons from ebay i just bought some plain white ones but actually i don't i don't want to put those on i've just bought some two sets of buttons from Pigeon Wishes off Etsy and I'm waiting for those to come I'm hoping that they'll come today and then I can get that finished because that shirt's amazing so that's really cool I've got to show you Piper because he's we've got a bee's nest that um somewhere in in the side of our house and he's obsessed with it let me just turn you around so there he is and he's just totally obsessed with watching the bees flying backwards and forwards. Hello. Why are you barking? Piper. 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 Why are you barking? quick garden shot new patio furniture with the cushions on and it just looks uh, I just love this patio so much now it's looking really good I've got my old chimney here we had this on the other night actually but it's 
totally had it. Um, the fire, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's a huge crack in it. Well, quite a few cracks in it. So we've just not, we'll just dare move it at the minute, but I've ordered a new fire pit. I'm just waiting for that to come. Um, it's like a eight week wait time. So that will finish off the patio nicely, but I'm really pleased with it. Um, we need to re-turf the garden still, but it's getting too late at the minute. Um, in the UK, turf, turfing was supposed to do generally sort of April September, April or September so I think we might leave it while a little bit later on in the year now um, I've got all my pots done I've got these done we went to a garden centre earlier on in the week and my peon is growing I'm just hoping that it will actually flower this time um, so I've got some pots done there and my hosta's out at the minute which is great I've got some little strawberries coming I don't know if you can see a little strawberry just coming there which is really really sweet I've got my other peony out and it does look like it might be flowering so fingers crossed my little troughs are done as well and my hydrangea few pots there and then yeah all this side needs doing as well but Martin's going to build like a little alpine garden just to edge all this off with gravel in between which will look really pretty really really pretty and just edge the path off nicely yeah so it's going to be a really really lovely weekend I don't think I'm going to get started on any sewing until Bronte goes home later I think I might just get the mirror jumpsuit printed out and stuck together I need to nip when Bron when I've dropped Bronte off at the train station later I am going to just nip and get some paint because we need to repaint the door and the gate to that are outside that lead onto the patio and I'm going to change the color I think I'm wanting to go for like a lavender I think that'll look quite nice but we'll see and so that's it we're off to the train station so oh, it's very hot in this car it's very hot in this car absolutely it clouded over a little bit earlier but the sun is back out and shining strong so um, oh, 30 degrees oh my word we don't get temperatures like that in Yorkshire not very often anyway uh, yeah so feeling a little bit sad now sad faces sad faces, sad faces. but we've had a lovely week haven't we it's been really we lovely have. really lovely to have a home again always nice to come home it's that nice little break I don't have to do I was about to say I don't have to do any cooking or cleaning but I have cleaned you have cleaned I, have cleaned. I was telling everybody earlier how how much you've done this week it's been really 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 welcome and I'm so grateful so yeah I'm gonna drop Bronte off at the train station and then I am gonna nip to B&M for those of you that don't know what B&M is, it's a discount store that we have in the north of England. I'm not sure if they have it in the south of England, actually. Do they? Yes. Um, and it's amazing. It's one of those places you go in and everything is so cheap that you end up spending a fortune. So you don't actually really save any money, do you? No, you go in for like a couple of things and then come out with a full trolley and have yeah. spent like 300 quid. <laughs> yeah. It's um, kind of like Primark, but for home stuff. Yeah. So I need to nip in there because they've got some paint for the gate outside. I think I mentioned that earlier. And I want to get some in like a lavender colour, I think. I think that'll look quite nice. So I'm going to nip in there to get that and probably come out with other bits and pieces as well because that's what you do when you go to B&M. And, uh, I'm going to sit on trains for yeah, two and a half hours. Bronte's got a two and a half hour train journey home. And then I'll get back. Isaac, Isaac has just taken Piper up to the bathroom to give him a bath. That's going to be eventful. I could hear all sorts going off upstairs just before I left the house actually so uh, yeah that should be interesting so he's doing that while I'm out and um, I think when I get back I had said to Bronte that I was probably going to go for a run because I feel so guilty that I've not run since Tuesday but it's just too warm it's well it's not 30 degrees now it's 22 but it's too warm I can't run in this kind of heat so I think I'm just going to leave it till tomorrow morning and run in the morning do my long run in the morning put your feet up have a shampoo I might have a drink actually do some sewing 
I've got the, yeah, I've got three patterns printed out and stuck together. I've got the mirror jumpsuit done and altered and everything stuck together. So I just need to iron the fabric now and get that cut out and then that's ready to start sewing. I've also printed out the Anna Allen Persephone pants. So I've just bought that pattern actually from Fabric Godmother because she has a 15% off discount code this weekend for everything on their website. And I've bought a couple of fabrics that will be on their way, but I've wanted that pattern for a long time. I've just seen some amazing versions out there. So I finally got it with the 15% off and I've printed that out and stuck the PDF together and I've cut out my size. But that pattern is still, I have to alter it slightly because I'm gonna probably need to do a full butt adjustment on it and lengthen the crotch depth as well. And I've also printed out the new Paddington top by Peppermint Magazine, which is a collaboration between French Navy Now and Spoonflower as well. I've just seen that released and it's a really cute little top. It has a button up back and then puff sleeves. It's designed for woven fabrics. It looks really, really cute. So I've printed that out, stuck that together and I've altered that. And um, yeah, so it's been a bit of a productive afternoon so far. So I'm looking forward to doing a little bit of sewing, which I'll probably start instead of going for a run when I get back. feel horrible at this point. I hate having to say goodbye. I'm back. I'm back from taking Bron to the train station as you've just seen and I'm back from B&M. I did get some paint but they didn't have any sort of lavender colour which is what I wanted. It, they did have like a purple but it was really really dark and I thought that would be too much so I've got like a it's sort of like a bluey colour it's not a bright blue but I think it will work I think it will be okay I'll show you that a bit later but I wanted to show you um a mug that Bronte got me when she went to Meadow Hall yesterday she bought me a Mary Poppins mug and I am a huge Mary Poppins fan it was my favourite film as a child and I still love it um, I watched it over and over and over and over. So I'll show you the mug that she bought me because it's just beautiful. So here it is. Here's my gorgeous, gorgeous um, Mary Poppins mug that Bronte bought, bought me from the Disney store in Meadow Hall yesterday. It's got like a tape measure on the handle as well. It says there's the whole world at your feet. It's really, really lovely. So I have got my mug of coffee and I'm just gonna sit and enjoy this now and enjoy the rest of the afternoon sun. Piper's had his bath and he smells beautiful now, so that's cool. Um, Martin's still at work, he won't be home all about nine o'clock tonight, which is really sad because the weather's just beautiful and it's just so nice sitting here. I don't feel like doing any sewing, to be honest. Um, yeah, I might do some a little bit later, but I'm going to need to get tea prepared for me and Isaac shortly. Um, so, yeah probably all I'm going to be doing now for the rest of the afternoon because it's just lovely and um, we've been waiting so long in the UK for some decent weather I just want to enjoy it and listen to the birds tweeting good morning happy Sunday so it's 20 past seven 
I'm up early and I'm going for a run. Martin's not very well. He had his second vaccination yesterday and he feels quite rough, but he's gone to work anyway. He'll be home at lunchtime. He's just on a short day today. So I'm going for a run, but I just wanted to show you the state of my sewing room. Um, I didn't get anything done yesterday at all. I didn't get the fabric pressed or the pattern cut out for the Miri jumpsuit. So, um, yeah, I just chilled out last evening, to be honest. But I'm going to go for a run and then I am going to get the Miri started, hopefully today. So, um, yeah, uh, this is the state of the sewing room currently. So I've got a few projects on my cutting table ready to start, but these are all just going to be sort of put to one side. This is some fabric that has been pre-washed. Some of it I think I showed you the other day. I have the Persephone pants printed and stuck together there. That's spare paper to use to adjust the Persephone pants because I will need to adjust them. On the ironing board is the Miri jumpsuit which is all adjusted and ready to go. And then over on my chair in the corner is the Paddington top by Seamwork that is all adjusted and ready to go. There is my all your shirt which I'll show you later the buttons didn't come yesterday unfortunately so it's probably going to be Tuesday before they arrive and this is the Vogue B1617 which is a jumpsuit pattern and that's the line drawings there and I cut well I traced that off the other day and have adjusted that so that's all ready to go as well but I did choose this fabric to make that out of and I've changed my mind I'm going to put this away and look for something else so that's going to have to be tidied up and put away later yeah a few people were asking why where my fabric stash is um some of it is just on the floor at the minute and why I don't have everything down here and this is the reason why there isn't room in here we you know I, I don't want this room to be really really crowded and I've got my vintage singer machine in the corner here I will take you up later and show you my fabric stash because it's quite large as some of you probably know and I've got a few fabrics in here as well and I just don't want this room over full because this room is in the main part of my house and I've still got my old dining room unit there and I don't want you know because it's in the main part of my house I just don't want it full of fabric because it will just be a bit of an eyesore if I'm honest. Yeah, I mean this needs a good tidy and we are going to redecorate it at some point but it's not on the priority list right now. But the fabric stash is staying upstairs for now and um, this is going to get a bit of a tidy later on. Right, showered, dressed, hair washed, it's wet, I've, had, I've not dried it, I'm just going to let it dry naturally. I'm going to put you down while I tidy up the sewing room and then we can get started on the movie. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow There's a new day to wash away to be having a really hot sunny bank holiday weekend I'm going to show you the weather this morning there you go there's the sky so it looked like early on I mean it's about half past nine now and it looked early on as if this was going to burn off but now it just looks great dull it's cool 
and yeah where has the sun gone anyway at least it means that i'm going to stay in and sew rather than want to be out in the garden um, because usually when it's nice and warm and sunny i just want to be in the garden anyway i've got my mug of coffee and i'm just going to uh press my fabric but first i've got a little friend who's joined me on the cutting table are you gonna say hello pluto not seen him for a while he's lost his collar so we need to get him a new collar don't know what he's done with it but um, he's spending a fair bit of time in here at the moment. Piper's just outside. And I'm gonna get, uh, gonna get my fabric pressed, which is just there, and then everything is altered. I think I mentioned that earlier. And I'm gonna get this cut out. Right, I'm just doing my full butt adjustment on the back pattern piece before I go any further, because looking at the room in this back pattern piece, there is not gonna be enough room in that butt for me. So I use this tutorial which is on the Curvy Sewing Collective and it's really, really good to be honest. It's If you just Google Curvy Sewing Collective, it's curvysewingcollective.com and look for their full butt adjustment and it just goes through what to do. It's really, really simple. So I am going to just cut into this now, open up the, the butt by probably about three quarters of an inch which is my usual usual butt adjustment in trousers and stick it back together and then I'll show you what that looks like. Right so it's coming on really well. I've got the top part done and I love how these ties go. I am a little bit worried this is going to be a bit big. This mannequin is set up to my sizes at the minute and I think these side seams are going to be slightly well quite a lot too big to be honest but we'll see we'll see how it goes it's got a facing on the inside now I'm going to be honest the instructions for this pattern so far I don't think are that great it doesn't give you any instructions to understitch around the neckline and the armholes when you are attaching the facing and it also actually doesn't tell you the step to stitch around the neckline either it doesn't even mention that so yeah that's a little bit disappointing and i have reread my instructions two or three times now but it's it doesn't now the other thing as well is i'm just at the point where it's told you to it tells you to put a little loop on the back but i've read further in the instructions that it has a zipper in now i'm probably going to take this off because if this has got a zipper in I don't see the point in having a right big loop like that. I'm just gonna put the zip right to the top. So I think I'm probably gonna take that off, but we'll see. But you know, all in all, I mean, I love the pattern. I love the style of it, but um, yeah, I don't think the instructions are brilliant. I'll be honest so far. And if you're not very experienced, I think you're gonna miss out quite a number of steps putting this together, which will give you that really neat finish, such as understitching, clipping into the curves, etc. It mentions none of that in the instructions, which is really disappointing because I'm usually a big paper cut patterns fan. But anyway, I'm gonna stop and have some lunch now and then I'm gonna get the trousers together, which are cut out here. Uh, pockets over there, get those put in and uh, hopefully I might get this finished. Right, the mirror is done. I am going outside. I've had a few issues with it. So I have had a few issues with it, mainly the fact that it was too big on the bodice. So I have had to take in the side seams by half an inch on each side and got the zip in and I'd stitched the zip in three times because I'd basted it. I had stitched it near to the zipper teeth and then when I zipped it up realized it wasn't close enough you could still see it so I stitched it again a little bit closer and then when I zipped it up the zip broke so I have had to unpick the zip with three rows of stitching on which was not fun and put a new zip in which I've done I have tried it on and I do like it. It is not my best sewing. I do still think this bodice is too big at the front for me. So even though I've taken the side seams in, I think I need to go down at least one size. I think I made the size four. Uh, the bottom part fits me fine, which I graded up one size, I think, or two sizes, I can't remember. But the 
top is just too voluminous at the front. I added on an inch to the bodice length as well and I don't actually need that much because the way the ties are it just means that I'm sort of having to pull it down a bit because there's just too much volume I think. It's, it's just, I'll show you anyway. I didn't lengthen the legs at all because I wanted to make these cropped length rather than full length so they do come to sort of just above my ankles which is a length that I quite like. So I'm going to turn you around. You'll have to forgive me because in between sewing this I've painted the gate and the door as well outside. They do need another coat, maybe another two coats, but they've had first coat paint so the backdrop's not going to be great. But I'm going to turn you around so you can have a look. So hopefully you can see that, but I really like how these ties fit. It's got really nice pockets at the side. They go in quite well actually. Lengthwise, I don't know if you can see, um, I'm glad that I dropped the crotch depth because that's worked really fine but I do think I don't know though this waist actually does fit me on the right bit so but the ties are essentially in the front bodice like that and then you just cross them over cross them over and tie them at the back there isn't enough length to sort of bring them around the front again but they do tie quite nicely in the back. I've done obviously the sleeveless version, um, but I do really like it. It's, um, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice, nice jumpsuit. So yeah, painted gate and painted door. I d it does need another coat, but it's looking okay. So I do like it. Um, as I say, this, this is too big for me though. You can see, I mean, I can grab all this at the front bodice here so I am going to have to probably um, go down at least at least one size I think on the bodice um, it's a shame but you know I'll wear it it's fine it's gonna be nice for this kind of weather that we're having today oh yeah the sun's out now I don't know if you can see the blue sky there um, the sun is finally out so um, yeah all in all it's uh, it's been a productive morning. So I'm now gonna go get changed because I think this, yeah, this is dry so it can have another coat. I'm gonna go get changed into my scruffs again, give this another coat. Martin is just fixing the sink because we've got a leak, which isn't fun. And then I think we're gonna enjoy relaxing the rest of the afternoon in the garden. So, door and gate are done. I really like this colour. I think it looks really nice, especially with the table. Oon is out. So this is our pizza oven and we are making pizzas for tea. These are the wood pellets that we use to heat it. So Piper is over there and uh, yeah, we're going to have a lovely evening. So let me just show you the pizzas. So we've made completely homemade pizza which is just under there on my bread peel, ready and waiting to go. And then under here, we've got garlic bread. So I make my own pizza dough from scratch using bread flour and um, extra virgin olive oil. And uh, yeah, can't wait to uh, yum, yum, yum. The pizza oven is amazing. It literally takes 60 seconds to um, make a pizza, to cook one when it gets up to temperature so I'm going to put you down and uh, yeah we'll see how we get on. Needs to turn it around. Needs to turn around. So <laughs> we have a flowered dog bless it's him. Slightly blackened on one yeah, side. Yeah this cooks so quick. Oop. It's amazing. If you count to 30 slowly it'll be done. Master of the pizza oven. <laughs> I think Piper's hoping he's going to get some. He's not. It's not good for you, Piper. Oh my word, look at that. It's as literally as quick as that. Awesome. He's just mad. Excuse. Excuse the mad hair. So it's what, you've got mad hair? Yes, it's Monday morning and... Um, bank holiday Monday morning and uh, yeah I've got Judy here. We've just been for a run haven't we? 
have. We have, yeah. I am alive. She is. Grandpa. She's still here. I am alive, you two people. I am going to post something. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, she's been really busy, but we've just done a 7K run, haven't we, Judy? It's been fantastic. Which was amazing, and we're just going to have a... It's the first run for two weeks because you've had your daughter here. Yes, I have. So, uh, the dogs are... Being dogs. Being dogs. You're going to need to clean your patio again, though, right, Chris? Absolutely. Well, no, I won't be doing it. Martin will be doing it. Poppy is the most interesting little pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just see that in one? Yeah, he just launches himself. He's just totally bonkers. Totally bonkers. Right, so I'm showered. I look a little bit fresher now. And we've just come out to buy a trellis. So, um. Hello. <laughs> That's my bank holiday Monday sorted. Yeah, here, totally. So it's going to go behind the wall of the patio. And then we're going to hang lights off it, grow some plants off it, that kind of thing. So, uh, there's a few bottles in there. That's as not well. alcohol. If I called him Monday, what's, you know, what's the chances? Um, we are going to have a barbecue in the garden later, I think. And, uh, there's yeah, no, the sun, no think. There's the no sun think. is just coming out now. Um, it's been, I don't know what time it is, 20 past 11, so it's not far off lunchtime. But I'm not wearing me made today. This is a Peruna dress from Marks and Spencer's that I got in the sale last October, September, October time. And it's the first time I've had a chance to wear it. It still had the tag on actually. So um, <laughs> yeah, the tag's come off. It was less than half price. Veritable bargain. Oh yeah, bargain mongers. So yes, we're gonna go back. We have bought croissants as well. So we're gonna have a nice coffee. And we some bought croissants. what? Croissants. 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 We're gonna have a nice coffee and some croissants on the patio. Um, yeah, and just have a relaxing, chill day. I might get a pattern cut out. I want to make the Butterick pattern. The shirt, the Gertie shirt, I can't remember the number. The one that Sean did last week. I really love that. Really, really love that shirt. So I think I'm going to get that traced off and cut out, hopefully, at some point today. But I want to enjoy the day in the garden and the sunshine. So we'll see. We'll see how we get on. So it's Monday evening and uh, yeah, I've not filmed anything all day and I haven't done any sewing all day either. We have had a really lovely afternoon, very busy doing some gardening. We've got the trellis up. I do have clothes on by the way, I've got these thin straps. I've got this dress on. I really, this dress is just gorgeous actually. It's a cotton lawn and it's like peasant style. Um, it's just really nice and cool for the heat that we've had today because it has been really, really warm. But we've had a really lovely day and uh, yeah, done a bit in the garden. We've had a barbecue for tea and uh, it's just been really pleasant, really nice. The weather is just amazing. I mean, look at that sky. It's early evening now. Now it's starting to cool down a bit. We've brought Piper out just for a gentle walk to get him a little bit of exercise, although he's had plenty of exercise in the garden this afternoon. And, uh, Martin's with me, he's just there, look. And uh, yeah, I thought I would uh, bring you along with us. When I get back, the plan is, I'm gonna make myself a jean tea, and then I am gonna trace out that Butterick shirt pattern. So uh, I'll probably get, uh, get that done when we get back. There's a new day to leave behind your troll. dug out this pattern then b5895 this is the shirt that i'm going to be making and i've just been taking the pattern pieces out of the envelope and found 
this. So I've previously traced it in a size 12, which will probably be fine. And I have already altered the pattern as well. And I've measured this and it, I've lengthened it by an inch and a half. So I know when Sean ma made hers, she had lengthened it by an inch and three quarters. So I'm just going to go with that for now and see how I get on. I'm sure it'll be okay. So yeah, so that's really good because it means that I don't need to trace it off and I can get my fabric cut out. So my fabric, I think, I don't know if you can just see it literally just there. It's that red and white check linen. Um, I'm going to go get that, give it a press and get this cut out. Right, I look like Billy Beetroot head, don't I? I have caught the sun. I know I have, and I'm quite red. Anyway, um, enough of that. I have got all my pattern pieces cut out, so they're all here. And I have interfaced the bit that needs interfacing, which is just the back neck facing, I believe. I don't think anything else needs interfacing. Does the front face? Oh no, the front facing needs interfacing as well. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I don't know. I think I probably, actually, I think I probably need to do it because this forms the collar, doesn't it? So it's going to need to be a bit stiffer. But I am done for the evening. I want to go and relax now. Martin's just gone up to have a bath and I just want to chill. So I'm going to say goodnight to you all now. I hope you've enjoyed my weekend. And um, yeah, fingers crossed, I, by the next time I see you, I will have this shirt made up. So I hope you've enjoyed what I've filmed this weekend. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you all really soon. Bye. It is waiting for